Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing all about your future romantic partner. So we're gonna have a look into their zodiac sign, what they look like, what they possibly do as a career, all that jazz, possibly where you're gonna meet them, really in detail. So let's get started with this reading. So we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. Please choose your group now. We have the rose quartz. Amethyst, we have the Caribbean calcite, and we also have the Mangano calcite. I sell all of these crystals on my online shop. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these crystals, please look down below. And also for any custom crystal recommendations I do in this reading, I can do a custom piece for you of jewelry. So let's get started with this reading. All the links will be down below, all the time stats down below, please pause for extra time and let's get started. Also, before I begin, if I do not mention any of the details that I just said, like the zodiac sign and things like that, the messages just weren't meant to come out, okay? This is a general reading and yeah, so let's get started. Starting off with group number one with the rough rose quartz. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who your future romantic partner is. So we have the gorgeous rose quartz. So that's really, really beautiful. Alrighty, so let's get started with your reading. So first of all, Rose Quartz is the unconditional crystal of love, the crystal of unconditional love. It is really, really beautiful. It's so good for getting you in those love energies and really kind of helping you to create that lovely love energy. So first card out we have is faith, beautiful. So the first thing I really get for you guys is you've been struggling having faith in your love life. You've been struggling to have any sort of I'm hearing conditioning. You may have been conditioned to think, oh, I have to be in a relationship to be happy or any of those things. And for you, it's just really important for you to focus on what does make you happy and bringing in those sort of elements. So the person that you're going to be in a relationship with or your future partner, they are going to help you regain your faith within love and in romance and to help you feel much more content and much more happy with the situation. And yeah, they're just going to make you feel really, really comfortable. Okay, so let's do this card next. So we have justice, your career brings fairness protection to the others who need your help. So very much they could be in justice, in the justice kind of system thing, they could, like in, in law, in law, not like in prison or anything. Um, they could be somebody who is very much into fairness, they could be a Libra, somebody who is very much into kind of equal scales and making sure everyone kind of gets their equal pay and things like that. Okay, so we have three graces, cooperative ventures with friends, joy sharing, new partnerships that are fun, beautiful. So let's pull out all these cards. So we have keepers of the earth. This is also number one as well. So a brand new start with this person. Keys of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Freedom. And we also have healing, beautiful. So I do have some other cards as well, but we're gonna start with these ones first. All right, lots of messages here. So the first message that I'm feeling for you guys is there's a massive amount of freedom. There's a massive amount of freedom coming for you in your relationships and you're gonna manifest somebody who is very free, someone who is really freeing, someone who is very loving, gentle, and really just open to um, intimacy. And just this kind of relationship reminds me of inter the word interdependency, where you're not dependent on each other and both of you are gonna have the ultimate amount of freedom. So you could be an Aquarius. I'm getting like an Aquarius Sagittarius kind of vibration. It doesn't actually have to be that star sign, but I am picking up on that sort of energy where it's like freedom, feeling like you can really express yourself. Healing, we have number 66. This is very much about you feeling like you can really have you can really embrace your own healing. So this is a very healing relationship. You could have gone through a lot of healing before you meet this person. You could be a healer as well. It does make me feel like you've been going through a lot of like healing around family and relationships with your family, possibly with a father figure. Also, it depends who you are romantically interested in. So say if you're romantically interested in men, it'll be more of like a healing energy towards males. If you're more interested in women, it'll be with women. If it's either or, or both, you know, take it as it resonates. It's a certain person, that person in your life kind of represents the preparing of you being with someone who really, really resonates with your energy, okay? And it feels like you're just really letting go of all the ancestral patterning that you've had towards relationships. And especially when it says you are not alone. So for you guys, you've really been learning codependency to release that and to release all kind of energy around the intensity that you need to have a relationship to be happy. And there's this quote that's really, really amazing. And it basically explains that don't kind of judge your life based on your relationship status, whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship. There's no reason or no need to do that because we need to stop kind of 
pinning our own emotions on our relationship status because sometimes we feel sad and that's okay and sometimes we feel angry and that's okay and sometimes it's not to do with being in a relationship or single sometimes it's literally just emotions that need to be processed can be from childhood it can even be from in the womb you know you just don't know it could even be from past life so you just got to take this as it comes these energies and if you do feel overwhelmed just know that there is somebody coming in for you it's just sometimes the timing is a little bit off and it may think you may think oh it never come Sometimes they just come, you know, at, at a different time than you think, but that's where the surprise is, you know. So we also have the three graces, cooperative ventures with friends, joy sharing, new partnerships that are fun. This is such a gorgeous energy, okay? This is a very, very strong energy of expansion. You are going to meet some friends on this journey. You're going to possibly meet someone through career injustice or um, some sort of joining together of a joint venture so say if you join like a spiritual group and you all are kind of there to help each other and create fairness and like raise the vibration rise the raise raise the vibration of the world that's kind of that energy coming together as a group you could be part of a friendship group as well and that's how you meet your person it does definitely feel like with the new partnerships that are fun you're going to start to change up your, your relationships are going to start to change and you're going to manifest relationships that are so much more your energy so much more deeper and have much more sustainable energy where it can last for, for a longer amount of time and you can really engage in them and it's not needing to kind of entertain the relationship you can just be in it naturally and freely and you guys are definitely connected to the moon you have this really strong sense of emotional connection to animals as well so i feel like you and your partner are going to have a very strong connection to animals very very watery energy and i love that all right so let's have a look at your person's star sign possible kind of personality traits and things like that okay so uh, which ones do you want to do first? Let's do these ones first. Okay, so we've got Taurus popping out here, which is lovely. Oops. Okay, we have the third house. We have partners. We have Leo. And let's get one more. Beautiful, thank you very much. Underneath the deck we have the waxing gibbous moon. So we're gonna see what the waxing gibbous is all about. Okay, so the waxing gibbous is about refine and hone, observe and align your hopes with the universe, build momentum. So essentially you just gotta envision your person. What do they look like? Who are they? Have you kind of written down their personality traits and things? However you wanna manifest this person is completely up to you. Obviously you gotta do what's right for you. You don't have to manifest on a new moon. You don't have to do things in a certain way. As long as it feels right to you, then it's gonna be your partnership. It's gonna be for you. You know, this is your relationship. There's nobody else's, okay? So I do feel like your person, it could be a Leo or a Taurus, so someone who is very like like a fixed sign, someone who's really driven, yep, impulsive, beautiful, could be someone quite impulsive, um, somebody who is really kind of eager to meet you. So when you meet them, that you're going to know this is the right person, you're going to know, wow, this person's really intellectual, they have so much kind of experience in life they're most likely going to be older than you somebody who might may have their own house ha 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 house i can't speak today i went to say home and then it came out ha ha <laughs> um yeah i went to say house and home at the same time so they may have their own house it could be an apartment as well but you guys could be moving in with each other as well so they do possibly have a little bit of anger, but they kind of work with that as they go along. I'm getting major masculine energy here, so it doesn't have to be, but it could be. Um, they may have a brother, which they quarrel with quite a lot. Um, they could have um, some sort of personality in their life who really, they don't, they have struggles with because they're very, they're a very strong personality, this person. They're very intense, um, but they, they mean well, okay? They're such an intense lover. They will love you to the end of time. There's somebody who will keep your secrets. So that if you tell them something, they won't tell anybody else. It'll be very, very um, confidential. And as I say, very independent relationship. Both of you will share independence. Really just saggy energy, really, really beautiful. 
Um, so I do feel like this person has gone through quite a few relationships that have been very, very uncomfortable. They're relationships that have been feeling really gross and kind of yucky and never any sort of strong, deep connection. So with this type of relationship, it's gonna be very, very strong and intense and deep and pure and raw and just absolutely gorgeous. So this person's going to be very, very intelligent. They most likely will connect with you in different ways. So for you guys, you're gonna meet this person in different ways. So as this is a general reading, I'm just gonna cover all bases. So I do feel like for some of you, it could be through work, through a group of friends, through, um, for some of you, it does feel more like a group of friends. So it could be like a group of colleagues or group of friends. It feels more like a group. Some of you guys, it could be that you meet them in a group and then you kind of get a message from them on Instagram or something like that. That's kind of what I'm feeling. The society is making me feel like it is gonna be some sort of group connection. It doesn't have to be. It could be that you actually manifest like one friend and then that, that one friend is friend with another friend and that's how you connect. So it could be just all those things. So just take it as it resonates, guys. So this person has very, very strong values. So when they promise something, they will never let you down. And they're just somebody who is just like so, I'm hearing pure to the core. So they're <laughs> pure to the core. So it's basically like they know what they want, okay? So when they meet you, their, the eyes are gonna be so intense. I'm getting like really strong green eyes. And there's somebody who most likely has like white Caucasian skin. Doesn't have to be guys, doesn't have to be, okay? Just take it as it resonates. Um, I'm seeing brown hair and there's somebody who has just a really intense stare like when they look at you you're gonna melt okay they have such a deep soul connection you two have it's like past life connection very independent can be quite impulsive so this person may slow down a bit but when they meet you oh my god they will know that you're the right person okay and they're very conventional so they do want like marriage they want a house they want children they may already have children they definitely have like dogs or something some sort of animal or they just love animals they may have had an animal that may have passed away just before you like after you meet them they could have this animal could have passed away before you meet them so basically you would be speaking about this animal that they would have had and it would be like a really cute story you know so it kind of like they have a very strong connection with animals and that sort of thing so let's have a look at the rest of the cards okay so let's see what chakra you guys are going to be working on when you meet this person I feel like you guys are definitely working on your um, intuition. I think you're working on kind of connecting to the divine. So we have the heart and the throat, creativity and forgiveness. So for you guys, you may be forgiving an old relationship. Let's see who they, what they're working on. Okay, they're working on pretty much all the chakras. They're basically balancing just themselves. So we've got the root, the heart and the crown. We've got clear quartz, rose quartz and hematite. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit. Let's get one more for them to get a bit more specific. Okay, beautiful. So we have the third eye. So they're working on their intuition as well. And their solar plexus confidence. Wow, so we have dreams and we have confidence. This person's very, very genuine. And you most likely will meet this person in your dreams as well. There's somebody who is just so intense and beautiful. And they're very, very creative, very loving, very genuine. Okay get one more card for the relationship destiny yep so you guys are meant to meet each other you're meant to meet each other on this path it's so destined it's just it's absolutely unreal it's like the creativity is out of this world and both of you are learning to be vulnerable in this world in in love and in relationships you may have been let down quite a lot so you're learning to just be vulnerable okay so that is a connection i'm now going to pull some tarot cards and we're going to see what's been going on for you guys in your love life and what's been happening. Okay. Okay, so the strength, we have Hermit. We have a Fortune. Whoa. Okay. Underneath. The tower, intense. You guys are going for a massive intensity. Okay, so strength, the hermit, wheel of fortune, seven of wands and the ace of swords. So I feel like for you guys, massive amount of communication coming in. I feel like you guys have been through like a really stressful time. And the wheel of fortune is just showing me that there's a massive change that's happening for you guys in terms of your love life. You guys are really fulfilling a dream that you've always wanted. And this is the relationship of a lifetime. It's like, I'm seeing you guys getting engaged with each other, like 
probably like three to six months into this relationship. It feels like you guys know this is meant to be. You guys, some, some of you guys, one of you, you or the other person may be fighting the relationship off at first because you think, oh, this isn't the right thing. But then you discover that actually just communicating with this person, you discover that you're really, really similar and you can then come into union. But you may have had like a really slow time with your love life. It could have just been like nobody anywhere. And you're like, okay, why is this happening to me? And you kind of feel like the need to kind of hide away. And then you feel that need to kind of block people off because you think, well, if it's not gonna happen, there's no point. So for this, I feel like you're really learning to just stand your ground and be like, no, I really want a relationship. This is what I want and I'm gonna manifest it, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got this gorgeous, cute little amethyst cluster, such a little cutie. Okay, so very much of an intuitive energy, very intuitive uh, kind of connection that you both are gonna have, just really, really closely connected and very, very strong, okay? First card out we have is memory. Okay, so this is making me feel like you guys may be triggered a little bit when you meet this person because you think, I don't know if this is going to be the right one because they are kind not similar to previous people but it's like you think of all the times you've been hurt and then it might kind of affect your energy so just be aware nobody is like your past per person unless you're in a repeating cycle so basically as long as you're working on your inward energy there is no other way of things being reflected outwards okay so I feel like also you're going to create so many beautiful memories with this person it's going to be so cute I love this is a forget me not flower it says New Zealand red admiral so pretty I love this I don't know if this is the red admiral is the butterfly I've never really kind of looked at these cards too intensely but that's really cute I feel like I'm getting like poppies and things like the flower poppy I'm getting possibly the name poppy as well so that's really cute all right, so we have support, we have energy healing. This group feels very delicate, very light and sensitive. I love it. Oh, wow, look at that purple, that's gorgeous. Okay, so we have stardust. Premonition, galactic communications, beginnings and endings, exactly. So you guys are really realizing what it is you need to kind of improve on and now into your new relationship that's coming in. We have, ooh, cheeky, physical activity, yes, queen. And then we have trust your path. Okay, so let's start off with this card first because this is right on top so essentially you guys have been feeling like you cannot manifest your person you feel like i have no idea how i'm going to manifest this so for you guys you could even have a crush i'm hearing some of you guys could be like well i like this person but they don't know they like me and, blah, 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 and your, your mind just goes crazy so for some of you guys it could be a crush for others of you it could be somebody who you don't know you don't know this person yet okay for those of you who are very confused about your love life and you're like, what do I need to do? You just need to know that if you were supported, you need to just understand that if you were supported, what would you do? You know, that is what it's saying here. It said, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So essentially don't block yourself off from any pathways. If you feel like you want to do energy healing or if you feel like you are very much attracted to somebody, just frigging go for it because you never know where it's going to lead you. As long as you in your heart of hearts know that this is going to be something you're going to possibly enjoy or something that has been calling you freaking go for it guys because there's definitely energy of like leaping outside of your comfort zone and this could be that maybe you guys i'm getting like a very strong message this is very specific so this is not going to resonate with all of you this is somebody who has recently transitioned into a, the opposite gender um, or possibly you're discovering your sexual kind of preferences and maybe you're worried about like being your most authentic self because you haven't been that like that before, you know? So it could, doesn't actually have to be to do with the gender situation. It can be because maybe you guys have had like a spiritual awakening and you're trusting your path. It could be you want to do a new job and you're trusting your path. It's basically like step over the threshold, guys. You're not going to regret it, okay? So it says your life purpose fully supports you. So you guys can meet this person through your life path. You can meet this person through this new entryway I'm hearing and we have energy healing as well so you could be going through energy healing um, an energy healing course you could be very attracted to somebody who does energy healing this person could do energy healing so for you guys you're going to get some sort of premonition on this person coming in I feel like these this is very much the crown chakra here so I feel like you're gonna have possibly some sort of download while you're doing some physical activity like running or dancing you may get like a sudden download of how you're going to meet them or who they are 
Um, for you guys, you could be star seeds or rainbow children. You connect very much with the galactic energies. And we do have beginnings and endings. So with this memory, this is definitely so much about beginnings and endings. There's very much this energy of kind of clearing out the old and like, oh, did you guys hear that beeping <laughs> outside? If you heard it, that's a synchronicity, okay? If that happens, that's a synchronicity. Okay, people are really beeping outside. <laughs> Synchronicities everywhere. <laughs> okay, so definitely beginnings and endings here. And you're going to find somebody who you're very, very attracted to. So you guys might be going for a lot of anger re uh, recently or in the future. And it could be because you've got a lot of like sacral chakra stuff coming up. And that could be because of the beeping outside. It's kind of the anger coming out. But just know that you just got to work on whatever this is the feeling because sometimes what we're feeling isn't always, you know, connected to what we have right in front of us. It can be from our past or from our memories and things like that. Energy is just such a wave. It can be so confusing, but you just got to kind of tune into who you are and how you feel about the situation. So the person you are with, they're going to be very, very, very attracted to you. You guys are going to be so attracted to each other. And when you first meet them, you may even meet somebody at a gym. You may meet them when you're running. You may meet them in the park when you're walking your dog. You know, something like that. It feels like you guys are very, very fit. You're very healthy or you're working on health or health journey. You could be a fitness instructor, yoga instructor, energy healing, yoga instructor, like <laughs> all the things. Normally, when you are on the spiritual kind of like vibe, you do like more spiritual jobs. I feel like a lot of you guys have like a lot of under your belt, like you're a Reiki practitioner, a yoga instructor, you know, craniosacral therapist, something like that, that you have loads of stuff going on. So for you guys, it's definitely, you're going to meet somebody definitely who's spiritual. I feel somebody who's very spiritual, someone who is just very in tune with the energies and doesn't really kind of go along with all the rubbish because it's kind of being fed out to us, you know, so you they kind of don't go along with everything they are very much a rebellious attitude but in a very gentle way they're not the sort of person who would kind of go out and protest they'll be the sort of person who would do the inward work and then kind of just observe and help people as they come into their lives very just a gentle energy somebody who who trusts and i feel like it's getting you to learn to trust your your guides as well and everything else coming in for you Alrighty, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards so let's get you some zodiac cards and let's see what's coming in for you i shuffle these really quick by the way guys because they take a while to come out for some reason so i do this like really really fast okay first card out we have is the fourth house so very cozy person oh scorpio nice love that let's get a few more Okay, we have Mars. This person's so driven. Okay, some of these people, some of you, you might meet somebody who does like to kind of protest and get the energy out there, but some of you guys, they're very internal, very like um, specific, I'm hearing. So when they like something, they really, really like it, and you're going to know that they like it. Okay, so let's get a couple more. Whoops, okay, that card flew. I'm just going to go grab it. So we have the waxing crescent. We have Pluto underneath, we have Neptune, very, very emotional. And this is somebody who really likes to open themselves up to new situations. They don't like to just, I'm hearing flies by the seat of their pants. <laughs> okay, so definitely somebody who doesn't give up easily. They're very driven. They're somebody who will not give up. If, when, if, if you're not too sure about them, they're going to make sure that if this is the right relationship, they're going to make sure that you two get together. And it's not going to be in a forceful way. It just feels like this is somebody who just, they know spiritually, they know intuitively that this is the right connection and you two are just going to be so connected with each other. So with the waxing crescent, this represents setting intentions and planting a seed for what you want to accomplish. So if you guys are doing the manifesting, this person is coming along pretty soon. Um, I feel like this person's probably going to come in around about five or six months for some of you guys. It doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, obviously, time frames just come out intuitively. So if I haven't done a time frame for any other groups, that's just because it's intuitive. So this person, very, very sensual energy. They like to change up things all the time. They're not somebody who likes to, you know, nine to five kind of thing, but they kind of have to sometimes. So with the waning gibbous, let me just see what this represents here. 
So with the waning gibbous, this is about introspection, turning inwards, reflect on goals, cultivate gratitude. So essentially you guys could be could have been single for at least like 10 years, I'm feeling five to 10 years. You could be single watching this group, it doesn't have to be, but that's why I'm feeling because it feels like there's just a massive chunk of crap that needs to shift. And you have been working on this for so long and you're like, oh my God, I just want this to move. So for your relationship, it's gonna be somebody who has also been through the exact same thing. They could even be going through the breakup right now to get you to where you both need to be. Wow, yeah, love affair, so cute. So you're definitely meant to be together. With the authority, this is somebody who likes to take charge. So if you are more of like a passive empath, then I feel like this person's gonna take charge and help you um, assert your confidence, assert your dominance. Um, this is also somebody who, when they kind of come into contact with you, they might have to make like a choice on their career or something before they meet you. So it may be like they have two choices in career and they choose this certain path and that's where you're working or whatever. So I do feel like you may meet this person through work. I'm hearing maybe through animals in some way as well. So maybe a veterinarian, a dog walker, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like you may even meet them, in a, meet them in a pet shop. You know, it could be as random as that. Um, could be even through like you follow a group of cute dog animal pictures and then they follow it as well and then you both, you know, connect, you know, <laughs> it's something as simple as that. So with the ostentation, there's somebody who's really worked on their finances. There's somebody who's very high, high end, I'm hearing. So somebody with a lot of luxurious energy, they might look like luxuries as well. There's somebody who likes things that are quite expensive. Um, there's somebody who are quite egotistical, they are working on that, but they do like to kind of think about themselves quite a lot, but they are working on that part of them. So that's part of their karma, I'm, I'm feeling. So with the principle, they have kind of been in a ruling energy where they've never liked school, they've never liked the nine to five, there's somebody who kind of wants to break out of that. Um, they like the freedom, they want to work for themselves, they could want to be like an actor or like a singer or something like that where they can really express themselves and really clearly just open themselves up to that energy. Alrighty, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards. When I said this reading was in detail, guys, I did not lie. <laughs> it was very much in detail. Okay, so let's get you guys a chakra card. So what are you guys gonna be going through when you meet this person? Oh, beautiful. That's like the one card we want. This is this says love. So this is all about your heart chakra opening up to abundance and creation. And it says love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action. So really kind of letting yourself be open to this energy. What are they going to be working on? Their third eye. Connecting to the divine, really letting themselves trust in the universe. Follow your instincts, they lead to the truth. So this person's definitely learned to use their intuition. And then we have meditation. So meditation could bring you two together. So you could meet this person in your meditations. You could meet them in like a spiritual practice group, something like that. But it feels like you both are like really connected um, by your third eye. So the fact that this person is really connected more to their third eye is like a massive synchronicity. It's kind of like, yes, this is meant to be. And then we have fearlessness, turn your warrior into a warrior. So for you guys, you might be worrying if you're gonna meet somebody, if you're not gonna meet somebody, you're thinking, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if I'm actually gonna meet anyone. You are, okay? So learn to have confidence within yourself and know that you're doing all the work, you're doing everything you can. And as long as you're just working on yourself and you are not entertaining kind of anything too toxic, you're working on and having kind of space away from the intensities that you're feeling, I definitely feel that there's somebody coming in for you guys quite soon. And I, for some of you guys, it feels like they're coming in around some sort of major shift in your career. So let's have a look at your tarot. Let's have a look at your tarot tarot. Okay, some of you guys are quite strategic. You don't, you like to have no evidence. You like to see evidence before things come in. So you almost likely start to see signs. I'm, here, I'm hearing numbers. So you might see numbers that are really significant for you. That's gonna be a massive synchronicity. I'm seeing your person may have blonde or brown hair. Um, they do have like, some of you guys that this person you're connected to is very, very pale. But some of you guys, they do have a slight tan to their skin as well, but take this as it resonates. It's gonna resonate differently with all of you guys. And then we also have the seven of pentacles. So for you guys, you've really been working on your career. You've been working on your emotions. You've been dealing with some F boys, some people who are not your 
vibe and you've been really trying to walk away from them and now you're manifesting somebody who has gone through heartbreak but has really learned from it and is really open to the connection between you two okay this rainbow coming over here is kind of like you may not see the rainbow yet but just wait until the trees clear i'm feeling like winter is going to be a really good time for you guys to manifest somebody i'm seeing you guys sitting at a cinema so when cinemas open maybe that's when you're going to meet them um, i know cinemas are open in different places so obviously just take it as it resonates the temperance here is making me feel like you are definitely having a balance around um, your happiness. So you're learning to figure out what makes you happy and what makes you feel uncomfortable. So you're kind of learning to just adjust as you go along and just this really strong feeling of kind of chugging along. I'm hearing this chugga, 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 chugga thing, like you're on a train. It's kind of like the, the more you keep going and the more you keep helping yourself with your emotions, the more momentum is happening and you're really starting to release anything that no longer serves you and doesn't... And doesn't feel gross anymore okay so the four of cups is making me feel like you guys may have this opportunity to move house or move and you may be reluctant to do it but then the universe kind of pushes you there in some form but it does feel like there is an offer but the universe is going to like just push you and kind of get you to move in that position on that pathway so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate you if you'd like to subscribe and you haven't already i'd really appreciate it thank you so much i love you guys very very much and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so we have this gorgeous caribbean calcite which i sell in my shop i am obsessed with it i absolutely love it so let's get started with your reading so the first thing i picked up on as soon as i started talking was whales very random that's what i picked up on and um, we have whales in the united kingdom so that's what i'm picking up on you could be in a place that's also called whales but it could be like the whales in like the animal as well but i am sensing more to like an accent that's quite strong so yeah that's what i'm picking up on okay so let's get started Right, so we have sincerity. So for you guys, you really learn to be gentle with yourself, be gentle with others and learn to have sincerity for others, especially if they're not kind of doing what you feel isn't good or right or necessary. That's what I'm picking up. It's kind of like this really gentle acceptance that you're having around other people. And especially now, like that is, that is hard sometimes, especially when people are kind of acting out of character. There's so much weird energy going on right now. So you guys are really learning to just hold your power, hold your hold your ground and stand your ground. And if there's anybody who kind of tries to mess with you, you'll really learn to just kind of step back from that and have space, okay? Or you're thinking about it as well. So we have counseling, we have school, Crystal Magic, Creation, Dawn, The Beginning. This is number 21, so that could be significant for some of you guys. I mean, that's number three, so we are on group number three. That normally happens with this group. There's always like a number three somewhere. We have Forgiveness. We have The Crumbling and Nature. So there's a massive amount of like light forgiveness kind of energy and letting go of like something that's toxic and that no longer serves you. The forgiveness is really making me feel like you guys are letting go of the past. You're letting go of the hurt that people have given you. And crystals have been very, very healing for you in this process. I feel like you're really learning um, to be... Your, your sensitivity is kind of coming out. Whoa, my third eye just really did something. That was quite painful. Got like a massive pain across my forehead. That was really strange. So for you guys, you could meet this person through counselling. You could... It could be like... You're, even you could be your counsellor, you know... I don't know, but that's what I'm feeling. It could be that you guys have gone to school for counselling, as in like you're learning to be a counsellor. Um, it could also be that you, through counselling, you're realising parts of you that need to be worked on and you start to forgive your past and therefore then you start to realise what it is that you need to work on in terms of relationships. And this then in turn brings up more new opportunities in relationships and a new person coming in because we have creation, dawn, the beginning. So essentially from possibly counselling or any sort of intuitive work or you know any sort of like healing you've had or done on yourself you're really learning to um, kind of come out of that old paradigm of who you were and bring into this new part of you of who you are so you have 20 and 21 so you're definitely upping 
your game. And we have the energy of forgiveness strengthens our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. So you could be forgiving yourself, forgiving possibly when you were at school, maybe something happened that's quite traumatizing for you. You could meet this person through school, you could meet this person through some sort of counseling in some way. So it could be like maybe you're talking to somebody randomly and then they talk about like counseling and they're like kind of nervous about it. And then you're like, oh, I've been to counseling and stuff like that. It's kind of like a very kind of easy opener for you guys you're, you're going to meet your person really easily like you really don't have to worry about it you guys have really been worrying if you're going to meet your person so you just got to really learn that this is very very gentle this energy okay so you're definitely meant to kind of go through some sort of tower moment as well it says what are you clinging on to so it could be part of you is really nervous about meeting somebody because it's like you know it's commitment the other part of you is like bring it on gimme gimme shimmy shimmy you know <laughs> I think that was on High School Musical that they said that. I don't know. Anyway, if you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below. <laughs> so with the what you clinging on to, there's definitely an energy of you have so much within you, okay? You need to realise your own inward energy, your own inward creation. What is it you want to put out into the world? And you could be somebody who's very creative and you can meet someone through creativity or through nature. Your person's going to be very into nature. They're very genuine. They're very kind of wholehearted. And they're going to be somebody who is just very open to kind of all sorts of walks of life. They could be somebody who's into like aliens and ETs, things like that. Um, they're also just very forgiving in terms of nature and they really are an open heart and an open book. So when you meet them, it's going to be almost like a counselling session, which is good because you, in a good way, it's kind of like when you talk to this person, it's going to be super, super, super easy. And I love this card. I've been really drawn to this card. And I think it's because she's kind of coming out of because she's coming out into this new dawn, this new beginning, and there's definitely a new beginning within your love life that I think you don't realise is actually happening, and it's probably happening behind the scenes, okay? So that's what I'm picking up on for you guys. There's definitely a lot of unwanted feelings that are coming up, so if you guys are getting remembrance of, like, old past friends and things, it's kind of triggering, just look, work on those emotions as they come up and know that they're sacred and they're meant to be there so you can really travel towards your person and get there. And um, yeah, and I feel like some of you guys you could be connecting to very randomly. I'm hearing you guys could know um, somebody in the past life. So say you may have quite a strong connection to like Madame Curie or something like that. But I'm connecting to like, I'm seeing you guys having a connection to an archangel or you see like somebody from an old book and it's kind of like possibly an image of like Madame Curie or someone like I'm hearing Joan of Arc. So you may have that sort of connection. I'm not sure what this is. If you guys resonate with that, then you do, then that's great because I don't know what I'm talking about here. It's all just coming out of my mouth. So, so that's beautiful. Okay, it's definitely somebody, like an influential woman that you look up to, I'm hearing. Just somebody who you really um, connect to. It could even be a mother figure that's just very gentle um, that you connect to and you kind of are kind of manifesting somebody who's very similar to a mother figure that you know. Oops, my cards all fell out. Okay, so we have the new moon, we have Libra. So with the new moon, this is very much about obviously new beginnings, new openings, and this is all about a clean slate and gathering your thoughts and feelings and planning this new situation. So definitely a good amount of balance coming in. You could be meeting up with a Libra or you could be a Libra. Very much about weighing the scales and giving, giving and taking in the relationship, yin and yang, and having an equal kind of balance in the relationship and independence as well. Okay, so you have Leo and Taurus. That came out for group number one, I'm pretty sure. Can you get a couple more, please? Okay, we have transformation. Yeah, you guys you guys are going through a really big transformation. It's like no more of this old paradigm of, you know, I have to really try to be with somebody. That's like the old paradigm, guys. You're going to be with somebody who, who wants to be with you, who literally, as soon as you meet this person, it's going to be like the most easiest relationship you've probably ever had in your life. That's what I'm feeling. It's almost like... I'm hearing just sliding and gliding, like I'm actually seeing, this is very random, but I'm hearing someone saying, you butter my toast. <laughs> oh my God, intuition is so fun sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we also have the first quarter and society, which is the eighth house. So you can meet someone through a group of friends, through like an, a mutual gathering, something like that. Okay, so these are the first cards out. I'm gonna pull some more as well. We're gonna start off with these ones first. So. So we have two fixed signs here. We have Leo, we have Taurus, we have, I mean, guess Scorpio as well here. Um, a lot of kind of intense, raw um, connections. Like it feels like you're here, the other person's here and you go, Zoop, 
and then it's like you match up really well like puzzle pieces is what I'm feeling so with the first quarter, the first quarter represents taking action, making moves and pushing through any obstacles that are revealed. So essentially, this person is not going to stop at you saying no to them. And I'm not saying they're gonna force on you or anything like that. If they know and you know on a spiritual level that you're meant to be together, it's gonna to be like, Zoop. so if you think you're not gonna meet your person, you're like, where am I ever gonna meet them? Girl, you're gonna meet them, okay? So it's you just gotta trust, okay? Trust in this process. I'm seeing pancakes, like maple syrup being on pancakes. And I'm, I'm hearing specifically maple syrup. So you guys, that kind of reminds me of Canada. So some of you guys might be Canadian. Your person could be Canadian. Just getting like loads of mountains and water and things. It kind of feels like a very nature based relationship. So you guys might like a nature walks, hiking. You might like going to like outdoor shops together where, you know, there's kind of lots of outdoorsiness. I'm getting very strong Virgo from this group as well. Okay, they're saying that's enough cards. Okay, so I was gonna pull some more, but they're saying stop there. Okay, so we have authority. So you guys are learning to become much more of an authority figure. Um, you're learning to stand in your power. This person, because you are learning to be an authority figure, they are that authority figure. So essentially, your path is to learn to match the energy of this person and they're matching your energy as well. So they have been through some very extreme relationships. They have been through hell and back, okay? I'm getting like, um, the scene in Harry Potter where he uh, defeats the basilisk. I think this might be in the second Harry Potter where he grabs like this big uh, tooth and he stabs the diary. Sounds really funny when you explain Harry Potter. It must've been really weird to like talk to the character, talk to, talk to all the different actors and be like, yeah, so they're gonna be this tooth and we're gonna stab this diary and it's gonna bleed. And it's like, I don't know, Harry Potter was amazing, but it's probably really hard to explain. Okay, so basically, you guys are very can be very critical on yourselves. This other person's very critical as well. So the thing that I was feeling with the Harry Potter thing is you are defeating your demons and it's gonna be, you've gone through so much stuff, okay? I'm hearing hero's journey and I don't normally say that. So you guys have really gone through so much stuff and it's so worth it. You, you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, finally, <laughs> like I finally met my person, holy crap. <laughs> Um, and then we have inheritance. So this person is like, is so much like you, okay? They may feel, even feel like family, which sounds kind of strange, but if it, it's like, I want you to be part of my family. They're like such a soulmate that it feels like they immediately feel like home to you. And even more home than some of your family members I'm picking up on. Because a lot of the time when you are in the spiritual community, there is a lot of family members you just do not get along with, okay? So we have domination as well. So this person is learning to not force things to happen and so are you. You both are quite intense personalities so you're learning not to like force things into place. And this is extremely random message but I'm seeing like a, basically a portaloo. That sounds really, this is a very weird message. I'm just hearing like a bucket of crap, literal crap, is being like picked up and just poured out. So it's almost like all the rubbish that you felt about yourself that other people have said to you, that you feel like you're never gonna meet anyone, you're just like, nah. <laughs> and you're just literally just throwing it out, tossing it out. And it's like, if this energy, I'm hearing, if this energy does not feel good, why do you hold on to it? Okay, that's what I'm picking up on. So, this person's gonna be very inspirational. They're gonna have so many ideas. They're so creative. They're so genuine. I'm getting like very strong Pisces energy from this group as well. And yeah, they're very critical on themselves because they're really creative. So they're somebody who's just very genuine and they really like to share ideas with you. So omens I'm hearing are gonna be eyes, blue flowers, the throat chakra and the moon. I'm also hearing crows, like specifically black birds and um, like, birds of prey, like large birds that you don't normally see, possibly like a hawk or, a, I'm actually hearing a pegasus, which I don't think you'll see it in the 3D, but girl, who knows? <laughs> you might even see it like on a picture or something. It's kind of like I'm hearing like your person is flying towards you, they're coming towards you. You know, they're, they're coming into your energy. So what are you bringing into this relationship? Security, perfect, I want this one as well, yeah. Root, root chakra, safety and security. I love that, that's what you're working on. What is your person working on? Fearlessness, yeah. So both you're working on very similar energies like safety and security and fearlessness. So you have safety. In the hurricane of life, a strong foundation will keep you safe. Security, to feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature. We then have fearlessness, turn your warrior into warrior. We have snowflake, obsidian, garnet and amber. Garnet's really good for love situations as well. Okay, the relationship, 
compassion. Both of you are going to love each other for who you are. You're not going to judge each other. It's going to be so authentic and you're going to re resolve conflicts with compassion. Whenever you have a problem, I'm hearing you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm going to not sing that because I'm going to, this is not going to be on this YouTube channel for very long if I do that. But um, basically guys, you're really working with the, um, the chakras and really kind of getting, making sure everything is aligned. And obviously you don't have to be perfect to manifest this person at all. As long as you are working with who you are and you're revealing your true authentic self to yourself, there is literally no reason why this person cannot come in, okay? I'm seeing you guys might be walking a dog and you're walk they're walking a dog and then you meet and it's like, oh, your dog is so cute, blah, blah, blah. That's how you meet them. Or you could be walking, they have a dog, it come towards you and then you like maybe trip and fall and then it's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And that's how you meet them. It feels very romantic, very much like a romance novel. Like I'm hearing romance of a lifetime. Okay. So let's get your tarot. First cut out, Queen of Wands. So you could be a fire sign or somebody who's just working on their drive, very passionate. You, when you when you love something, you really friggin' love it. And so do they, well, very similar energy. So you are almost the leader in this relationship, but also, it doesn't have to be, but by the way, guys, but also I'm seeing that this person sees you as this gorgeous leader and they're like, I need a piece of that action. <laughs> Basically, I know it sounds really unromantic, but <laughs> that's what I'm feeling. It just feels like, yeah, I want, I want a piece of that. <laughs> and then we have Queen of Swords. So yeah, you guys could have Aquarius quite strongly in your chart. Very much about the throat chakra. Really just enabling yourself to be vulnerable. That's what I'm hearing. And letting yourself feel and asking for help. That Actually, asking for help will open your heart chakra. That's what I'm hearing. It will help you to manifest this person quicker. Uh, but also manifest the right person. So very very soon this person is coming very soon i'm picking up on like for some of you guys if, if you've been single for a long time you're really wanting a person i'm picking up on like three to six months for those of you who've just gone through a breakup and getting about a year to a year and a half two years um but yeah that's what i just picked up randomly so i'm hearing for you guys you may meet this person in the winter when it starts to get really cold around where you are so obviously it depends on where you are in the world but wherever your winter is you know take that as it resonates um, we then have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're basically working on your work. You don't even see, see this person coming in. Boom, there they are. Okay, you don't even see them come in. It's like, oh, wow. Okay. And then maybe you help them out and then that's how you meet. It could be, they could be a client of yours. It could be a customer. They could be, um, maybe if you're a counselor that you could be, or they could be like your client, something like that. But it feels like very natural, a very natural meeting. Both you're going to be single when you meet each other. You know, it's not going to be like some sort of dodgy situation or un unusual or, you know, I honestly don't judge, but I'm just saying specifically, they're just saying you both are going to be single. That's just what I'm hearing, okay? So with the lovers as well, you're going to be having just a super deep heart connection. Your hearts are going to be like boom, 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 boom. You know, it's just a very strange analogy, but that's what I'm picking up on, okay? And just keep working at what you're doing, guys. You may think you're not doing anything. You may think this, is, this isn't going to manifest my person, but just keep going, okay? Because it really is. You may not think it is, but it is. Okay, so that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want a private reading, all the information is down below. Information is down below also for my crystal shop. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm sending you lots of love and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the crystal you guys chose is this gorgeous little mangano calcite. I have it on a little stand. That's how it's like, you know, being held up here. Um, I love this mangano calcite. It's so relaxing, so, so good for the heart chakra. It really helps you to feel compassion for yourself and others. And it's just really friggin' pretty. So, uh, but yeah, I saw that on my shop as well if you guys are interested. So, first cards out we have are compassion and peace. Yeah, this is literally the crystal of compassion, which is so, so good. So, for you guys, when you meet your person, you're going to be at a very peaceful place, okay? You're going to feel at peace. You're not going to be wanting, straining, feel the need to have a relationship. By the way, that's not wrong. Just letting you know that's not wrong to need one or want one. That's completely natural. But you guys are just going to be in a very natural state of abundance and affirmation. You're going to be in a very good place, okay? And you're going to manifest somebody who's really compassionate and somebody you don't need to entertain. Someone very natural, very open, very aware, very mature. All right. Next card out we have is a fairy tale. Letting go, detachment, moving on. Queen, moving on. We have integrity. We have star mother, how can you mother yourself? 
will then have change. So you're going to have a massive change up within your life. You're going to feel the change. You're going to know when this change comes in, you're going to be like, ah, that's what Vicky was talking about. Okay, last cards out. We have study and talk to your angels. Okay, so first of all, you can meet this person through your studies. Uh, you can meet this person by asking for help. You could be like, it could be something very synchronistic, like angels, can you help me manifest my partner? Boom, he comes in. I'm not saying that's going to happen for all of you guys, but for some of you guys, it could be you are already very, very close to meeting your person. And then maybe like the next day you're meant to meet them and you just happen to ask like, can I have my man now? Or can I have my woman? And then they come in. Okay. So also ask your angels if you do need help because not really to do with your love life, but in general, if you do need help with something, your angels are always there to guide you. And it doesn't have to be angels. If you don't believe in angels, could be God, could be Jesus, could be the universe, whatever you pray to or believe in. It could even be this gorgeous um, little Mary. I think she's Mary being represented here. Um, the star mother, you know, it could be even Gaia that you pray to. Um, but just recognize that you don't have to do this on your own. Okay, guys. Um, so we have integrity. The energy of integrity supports our choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided by high moral standards. So basically, you guys have learned that this person that you've been with or been around, mm -mm, no girl, goodbye okay and also you're no longer being um kind of swayed by toxic energy you're like this doesn't feel right i'm not going to go with this anymore and you're now letting go of this person and you have more integrity towards um people in general in all of your like all of your relationships can be re kind of like family romantic friends you're i feel like you're starting to learn how to kind of figure out if this is the right person or not i mean obviously we always we don't always know especially if they're really super attractive that can be something that kind of you know kicks into high gear and you're like oh i did not see that coming um <laughs> but basically you guys are going to meet someone very attractive by the way like i got like a very sexy person in my mind very very beautiful so i'm picking up on somebody who has black hair very intense eyes they could have brown eyes with a hint of like green or blue they could even have uh, eyes that are two different colors there's somebody who i'm actually hearing they have some sort of thing with their skin i'm not sure what this is but it feels like there's something that's different about their skin it could even be like they had a massive change in their skin you know i, I do not know it could be endless amount of things it could be they have loads of freckles it could be that they have some like kind of they wear a lot of jewelry, they accessorize a lot, they could have like a scar that's very significant. It's something to do with their skin that you're like, wow, that is so fascinating, tell me more. It's kind of like they have some sort of story behind it or they're just, they look so much different than everyone else. Like you look at them and you're like, holy crap, this person's beautiful, okay? So I'm getting really hot. <laughs> Every time I get like two people meeting together, it's like, whoa, the energy from this group is like huge. Okay, so we have change. So you guys are gonna change your environment number five so number five could be very significant we have nine and one which is ten letting go endings 25 which is five and also seven so that could be very significant a very significant change in your emotional sensitivity and your spirituality so your sensitivity could be really high um you could be kind of changing out your diet and things and then you start to realize oh maybe i need to change this change this you know have a massive change within who you are you also learn to mother yourself, learning to put yourself first and you're learning to think, okay, this is what I need. I'm going to integrate this into my life and you're not ignoring your body anymore. You're kind of like, nope, this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm not saying you guys have to do everything perfectly. It just feels like some of you guys are really um, being very aware of changes that are happening in your body and in your life. Okay. I'm really being drawn to these two colors. So I do feel like this is sacral and solar and throat. So you'll really learn to speak your truth and openly speak about things you're really passionate about, especially for those of you who channel who or who are new to your spiritual awakening or want to talk about like zodiac signs or astrology or um, Akashic records to people. You're just kind of not, you know, saying like, oh no, I don't believe in that stuff. You're being very open about it now, I feel. And I feel like it's very empowering for you and good for you guys. You go girl, you go girl or oh, guy. Okay, so let's have a look at your star signs. Let's see what wants to come through. I'm hearing the song, I Want to Break Free by Queen. I think it's by Queen. Wow, yes, Queens. Okay, so we had the new moon. So this is all about a new start, change, transformation. Yep, you guys are going for a brand new cycle. This person is unlike anyone you have ever met in your entire life. I'm hearing for some of you guys, you could have a, um, a child spirit like who watches over you it could be um i know it's a sensitive subject but it could be a um a 
daughter or son that maybe didn't make it into the 3D and they passed away possibly while they were growing. Um, it could be, and this, this, this child or like entity could even be like a little alien or somebody who you really connect with. This being is very much protecting you. So it doesn't actually have to be that specific. It could be like a young spirit watching over you. Could even be like a, like a, yeah, just a family member in spirit as well. It just feels like somebody who you're deeply, deeply connected to. Somebody who you may not even even met. Maybe you have like a great granddad who you didn't never even met or even like a, like a parent in spirit, something like that. There's definitely somebody who is really wanting to connect with you. Wow, this is very rare. I never have full moon and new moon in the same reading. So for you guys, you can meet this person on like a lunar eclipse maybe in October when we have that blue moon. Obviously this is a timeless reading guys, so just take it as it resonates. But with this um, full moon, on the book here it says, harvest endeavors, receive the gifts of past intentions, begin to look forward, not out. So essentially don't look for the past, okay? Look to the future, know that you are actually manifesting the things that you want to manifest and you're doing all of the right things. I'm hearing number 15 and then number three. Okay, so you guys could be a Scorpio, could be manifesting a Scorpio, could be very connected to the moon and the moon's power. You may do some manifesting on the moon, on the moon, <laughs> not literally on the moon, I mean, maybe if you're an astronaut, but, um, <laughs> or you want astral travel, but it does feel like there's a massive choice that you're making and it feels like, I'm hearing I've made the right choice, I've made the right choice. Um, you're gonna have a weird day, I'm hearing, where something shifts in you and it's gonna be like a massive surprise. So say if like, I don't know, I'm hearing your car breaks down and wow, look, we have romance. Oh my God, that's so cute. It has we, um, Venus in Taurus. I always get Taurus, yeah, sorry, Taurus. I always get Taurus and um, Aries mixed up, number two. So you could have like a situation where your car breaks down or like, you know, or maybe you, there's like a massive traffic jam and you get stuck somewhere and then basically you have to take a different turn and that's how you meet them. It's like very simple. It's kind of like a ripple event of different things happening. Okay, so you could meet a Leo, Aquarius, a Scorpio, I'm picking up on Cancerian as well. We have got those two moon energies, so that's beautiful. You can meet this person through doing service, through helping others, through um, being somebody of like a figure. So somebody who's quite well known on social media or on TV or something. Um, but for you guys, this person is very highly sought after. Not to say that everyone wants to be with them, that's not what I'm saying. It's almost like they have very high standards and in a good way, it's kind of like they know their worth essentially. And for you guys, because this person knows their worth, you're learning to know your worth and you're gonna meet on the same level. Okay, this person is struggling with a little bit of egotism, but that's okay. Um, they may be somebody who is a little bit stubborn, so <laughs> trying to get this person to do anything can be a little bit hard, but when they wanna do it, they're gonna friggin' do it, okay? And when they see you, they're like, damn girl, I wanna be with you. They're also very resourceful. We have the sun in Cancer. So there's somebody who is very intelligent. They have a lot of intellect. They know a lot about a lot of things. And there's somebody who's very influential. They can change people's mind like that because they're so good at speech and communication. They're quite restless. There's somebody who could have a lot of Aries in their chart. There's somebody who just wants to go, 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 go. Very impatient, but they're also learning to be patient. Okay, they may seem, when you meet them, they can be like really calm, collected, really chill. But then actually underneath, they're kind of like, <laughs> like just wanting to move really quickly. So in terms of this person, I feel like you're gonna meet them very unexpectedly. It's gonna be like you're literally going out randomly to a shop and then you're like, wow, this person's really attractive and then somehow you get talking to them. Could be you have a baby and you're like pushing the pram, maybe like hit them accidentally, you're like, oops, sorry, oh, oh, oh. I happen to be very attractive, oops. It's kind of like when people like drop their napkin, they're like, and then they bend over, they're like, oops, <laughs> oopsies, you know, or they, or they drop their pen, they're like, oh, I dropped my pen, you know. <laughs> but it actually feels like it works, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's have a look and see what chakra you are working on. This person I'm hearing for some of you guys, some of you guys who are in their early 20s or teens, 25. So if that's about the age, you know, that you could be with them. That's what I'm hearing. It could be 25 to 27. Uh, for those older, I'm picking up on they're about five years older than you. 
okay? So you are working on your creativity. You're working on becoming your most authentic self through your creativity, learning to just express yourself without any boundaries, any barriers, which is really beautiful. And just like the energy is flowing really, really nicely. Um, it says, use your creativity to transform your pain, pain into positivity, throat chakra. So very much about you speaking your truth. It could be singing, it could be dancing, it could be um, spoken word poetry, something like that. It could even be a blog or writing a book. We have the third eye and the heart chakra that your person's working on. So dreams, dreams are where your mind translates the divine. Forgiveness, you'll find freedom in forgiveness. I really like that, that it says dreams are where your mind translates the divine, which is so true. Like I feel like you're gonna get so many messages from your person in your dreams and also just intuitively, um, especially because your person's working on their third eye. I feel like once they connect to their third eye and they have some sort of spiritual shift, this person, you might actually see them before you see them. So if it's some of you guys who are very intuitive, you might actually see them like, as like almost like a, a mist. You think, oh my God, why is there like a ghost in my room or something? But it's your person, you know? And obviously if you don't, guys don't wanna see that, just say no, go away. You know, you do, you are allowed to say no and have boundaries. But it feels like when you're, because you're so closely connected and you possibly know this person from a past life, it's like this person is meant to be in your life, okay? And they're going to come in possibly on the 5D before they come in on the 3D. So you are going to possibly get a lot of reoccurring dreams or there's something significant that's going to be um, initiated as, a, as an omen in your dream. So say if you keep dreaming of black cats, if you see a black cat, that's when your person comes in, you know? Um, heart chakra, this person's really learned to forgive their past. So let's have a look at the relationship between you both. Oh, that's cute. So the relationship is all about compassion. It says resolve your conflicts with compassion. So when you guys have conflicts or arguments, you will resolve it with so much compassion, so much love and very maturely as well. Um, I'm hearing the song Truly Scrumptious. Uh, is it from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I think, pretty sure. That's what I'm hearing. It's a very cringy song <laughs> to me, but it, yeah, that's what I'm picking up on. So we have foundation. This is going to be such a grounded relationship. My throat nearly did a thing. So you might be really nervous when you're meeting this person or your throat might kind of close up because you're like, oh my God, they're so attractive. Um, or it might even be for some of you guys, you might even recognize this person. You might even recognize them from a past life or you might even know them from childhood or from like an event that you've been to and you're like, yeah, I clocked you, but I didn't really know you. And then it's like, whoa, okay, I know this person. Where do I know this person from? And then you're like, tick, 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 where, where? And then that's your brain, like, you know, ticking over. And then you're like, oh, that's where. Um, so very, very soul-based relationship. You guys are gonna have such a soulmate connection, very deep, intense. And it's like, you're not gonna recognize this person's outer shell. The soul is just gonna be like, oh, like it's gonna be beautiful. So foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. So if you keep hearing songs about castles, that's the sign as well, or songs with like souls or the word soul in, you know, something like that. So just take it as it resonates, guys, whatever kind of um, omen or sign or synchronicity feels good for you. If that feels good, then that's a sign right there, however you take it. But the relationship's gonna be about the heart and the root, so grounded and very open and compassionate. And you're working on your throat and they're working on their heart and their third eye. So lots of chakras going on, very much a beautiful balance. I feel I need to pull this top card for some reason, so that's what I'm gonna do. We have the solar plexus fearlessness, turn your warrior into a warrior. So for you guys, you could be worrying about meeting or never meeting your person, but know that all the fearlessness that you have is inside of you. And if you're struggling to kind of put yourself out there in terms of like your, you know, letting yourself be seen or letting yourself be open to change, just be aware that it's all about safety. So if you can feel safe within yourself, there's nothing that can stop you. Okie dokie. So there's definitely some sort of energy around, okay, very random. I'm picking up with some of you guys. You may have been quite poor when you were younger. Uh, you may have lived in quite like a small house, shared a room with a, a sibling. Now you are quite successful or when you become much more successful or your person's very successful, you kind of combine assets and you manifest this gorgeous life together with all this money and it just feels very abundant. So that's for some of you guys, obviously not for all of you. So let's get you some tarot and let's see what wants to come through in the tarot today. Okay, let's see what wants to come through. First card out, 10 of pentacles, ultimate amount of abundance. Um, you're gonna have children with this person, you might get a dog with them, engagement. Yeah, very equal relationship. Both of you are gonna have um, so much in common. And when you meet each other, it's gonna be like the ultimate balance. 
you're gonna feel really, really good about each other. It just feels so nice. I love this. And you're gonna have, be able to balance your work and your career and your money very easily. So when you meet them, it's not gonna be like, oh, I don't have time for a relationship. It's gonna be like, I wanna be with this person. My work is also very important, but I'm gonna make time for you because I really appreciate you and love you. Um, and that's what your person's also saying to you. So you can meet this person through um, kind of travel in some way. Um, it could be that you are wanting to travel and when you when we finally are able to travel, that's when you meet them. You can meet them on a plane, you can meet them on a train, you can meet them on a bus. <laughs> you can meet them um, kind of through social media because they are abroad or they're in a different continent, country, state, town. They could even be as simple as like the next city along or the next town along, but you never really thought to kind of, you know, you never went there, but you just kind of met through Okay, I'm saying for some of you guys, it could be as easy as meeting them online, like through Instagram or something. Um, that's how you can meet them. Like you like their photo and they're like, oh, thank you so much for the like. And then that's how you, that's how you do it. And then you get married and have babies and have kids. <laughs> so we have these six of wands. So this person, when they see you, they're going to know that you're going to be the one. Um, they're not going to have any doubts that, you know, you're not the right person for them. And underneath we have the queen of cups. So you're gonna be very content when you meet this person. You're gonna be in a really good place emotionally. Um, and this person's gonna want that energy, you know, and you're gonna want their energy. Both of you are very um, mature and balanced. And isn't that just so attractive? We love a balanced person. We love a balanced soul. Um, yeah, and you guys are just gonna have a lot of balance within your money and your career. And you're gonna feel just really in, uh, really content. And it was also gonna be a very intense situation. Some of you guys, you're gonna have a very weird day and then you're gonna be like, why is everything weird happening to me? And then boom, you meet them. I'm actually sensing some of you guys can meet them at a car sales place. They could be selling your car. Um, I'm actually hearing by the seaside as well, something by the seaside. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm, so, I'm hearing some of you guys could be water signs as well or Libra. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something about travel. It's not, almost like you never thought to move house and then you move house and that's how you meet them, something like that. But ultimate happiness for you guys and I love this. So. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As I say, please take it as it resonates. This isn't going to resonate with everyone, but, you know, take it as it resonates. Um, if it does resonate with you, please feel free to comment down below. I love reading your comments. Um, if you'd like a private reading, all, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that is also down below as well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.